Welcome back. I'm sure most of you have noticed this. A lot of pink popping up yep. around the area, and that's, of course, because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is a time to celebrate those who have survived and to remind the rest of us about the importance of early detection. Carol Williams is here now with the story of a breast cancer survivor who is extremely close to our hearts. Carol? Very close, Tanya and Craig. Our own Good Morning Tri-State anchor, Catherine Nero, is a three-year survivor now and proud to say it. She brings this issue to the forefront as often as possible, including the middle of Fountain Square. I talked to her there as she headed up an event for the American Cancer Society. How many survivors we got out here in Fountain Square today? Congratulations. It's been three years since Catherine Nero told her story to the Tri-State. My daily routine went out the window. I thought I was going to make it through this. I found out that I had breast cancer. Flash forward to 2015. Woo! Not raining anymore. Catherine is front and center at Paint the Square Pink. It is the making strides against breast cancer walk. Okay, here we are. Here we are. In between announcements and in the middle of all the hubbub, we had a chance to talk about what these three years have meant. I've gotten past the, the part where you freak out, you know, and gotten to the point where it just is another thing that happened in my life. Yeah. And that's a great thing. I'm lucky in that regard because I know so many people don't have that. How was your day? Three years ago, Catherine's illness brought a bonus, some time at home with her daughters, Elizabeth and Annabelle. What has the three years meant to them? You know, I said this at the time, and I, I look back on it, and, and I'm so grateful that this is still the case. To them, cancer was just something I had for a couple of weeks one summer. But breast cancer has a way of putting things in perspective. You realize, like, when you start worrying about, oh, the house is messy, or I gotta do the dishes, or how am I gonna get the kids from this practice to that one? It's like, you know what? I'm glad to have these issues. I'm glad to have these problems because so many people aren't able to do that. Do you feel a responsibility to tell your story? Absolutely. So it's important to me, in my case, to keep talking about it. Uh, and I know that it, it's weird, but I feel weird about it, but I think it's important for me to keep talking about it so that other people take the same steps and so they can have the same outcome. Mm. She wouldn't like it. I'm tearing up. She would not like that. Well, you know, it's interesting because Catherine is so positive yes. and, and so unemotional most of the time. That's right. But tough, you notice her lady. voice was kind of trembling a little bit at, at, on Good Morning Tri-State when she was telling about I that. I know. That's why so, I started tearing I up. I remember I that day, too. And so good. She is such an inspira for, uh, inspiration, I should say, for so many people. It, the American Cancer Society says it really helps that she's telling her story. It makes other women know you can do this and it'll be okay. It will be. That's right. We and don't so. forget, we, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer is Saturday, October 24th at Yatemans Cove. Catherine and I will be emceeing there and walking, so join us.